This is my ex's ex. She introduced me to my ex. Now we're best friends. <laughs> Locked in more than the same day I met her. She introduced me to the guy she was talking to at the time who happened to be my ex My now ex. Yeah, <laughs> so she was talking to him at the time. Honestly my first impression actually I can't say that's a tiktok. I was gonna say <laughs> We had a big friendship breakup um, Yeah, we literally a lot hated of paragraphs him. after her and him ended things. I got with him two days after so that's why she hated me. She had every reason to, I'm not gonna lie. We were on such bad terms. It was actually awful. I restricted her account. She also reported it. <laughs> I got with this guy. Her and I completely stopped being friends. Like, no contact. Like, I was with this guy for four months. For four months, we were low-key taking, like, silent jabs at each other. Every time I was with my ex, she would be there. Because, like, I was friends. Like, we were, we were friends, friends with each other, yeah. yeah. Like, yes, I did wrong, but I only saw her wrong. And yes, she did wrong, but she only saw my wrong. Yeah. It was like that. That's literally how it was. We both have no problem admitting it. And we tell everybody, like, we haven't always been on the best of terms. Like, yeah. we hated each other. Yeah. If there was any friendship that I expected to, like, be good again, it would never have been ours. No. I didn't know how much I could trust her. The day after we met, she was pinned on my phone and everything. And that's, like, that's, like, too fast. Like, yeah. that's, like, saying I love you on the second date. Like, you just don't do that. <laughs> It's just like eating someone's face. <laughs> we just don't do that. We don't do that. I feel like if we would have like talked about it like first. We might not have been friends, but at least it wouldn't have gone down the way that it did. Yeah. And then she like literally two days later, I ended things. And I show up with to church with him. Yeah. After he was. Whoa. I didn't know about that. What was up? <laughs> By the way, we have no anger towards our ex. No. Pray for him. Wish him the best. No, I literally want to say that, like, disclaimer. Like, we don't have anything against any of them. These are just stories that happened. That has helped like, us. Like, they're real stories. And I know if they help us, they can help yeah. you. I'm not going to say, like, you were a rebound, but you weren't because you weren't. But <laughs> two days after, I definitely was. That's one thing that I should have taken as a red flag. He didn't know what he wanted. He yeah. did not know what he wanted, and that's With like any of us. such a red. No, I did not know what you want, but you're in a relationship and like yeah. committed, leading the other person on. Like so much is being found out. He would say no. He would say he's not, but he was in my DMs when you guys were together. What? The whole entire situation, we put a guy over ourselves. Yeah. And that isn't how it should be whatsoever. Never put a guy before a friend. No. If her and I would have stayed friends, friendship would have gone to crap because like we were just insecure and jealous and petty and oh yeah you know like we didn't have the maturity we do now and it's literally crazy how six months can change you mm -hmm. like six months it's crazy how god can change you too For real love y'all bye bye guys if you came from part one you know that i am in trouble right now because i put nair in my sister's shampoo now i always tell you guys like i'm not wrong but it's because like I'm never wrong, you know? Like, if you're gonna brag, you have to, like, understand there's gonna be repercussions for it. And, like, not everybody's just gonna, like, say sorry right away. But my parents told me the only way to get my first phone back is by apologizing to her, which I really don't want to do because I don't like my sister. Or, like, I don't like her right now. For the sake of getting my phone back, I'm gonna, like, fake apologize to her. And then after my parents leave the room, I'm gonna tell her that I meant everything that I did and that I'm not sorry. And she can, like, understand where I'm coming from because I would understand where she was coming from. I just feel like anytime I'm being, like, a spoiled brat in her eyes, she, like, takes my parents' side. And it would really be nice if she could just, like, be my sister for once. Where my sister just wants to be an only child so bad and she doesn't appreciate having siblings like me. Her hair's gonna grow back and I'm still not gonna have the vanity I want. What I'm trying to say is the moral of the story is that hair grows back. It's not like a permanent thing to get rid of it and that sisters are forever. My sister, if you see this, I did you a favor. I taught you a lesson, so appreciate that. For anyone who's confused, these videos are completely POVs. I probably couldn't even fit an impressions vanity in my room. It is so tiny and I absolutely love my sister and my parents. Back on the topic of humans being weird. Why can't anyone just compliment somebody? Like, why do we always have to make it sound so backhanded what happened to just being nice just saying someone's pretty like why do you have to tell them they used to be ugly literally had this exact interaction once with a friend of mine and he looked me dead in the eyes and said you used to be so ugly but you're kind of hot now when will you learn if you didn't like me in all my eras you can't like me now I also used to wear really big eyelashes back in my day. And yes, maybe they were not my best fashion choice, my best makeup statement I've ever made. If you want to find them, scroll down a little bit on my page and you'll see it. And one day I stopped wearing them and I went to school and I cannot even tell you how many people told me I look so much better now. I wore them 
for two years. Two years. Are you implying that I looked ugly for two years? The comments all the time of girls who are like, you're really pretty, but the eyelashes are not it. Girl, why do you have to add that in? Just say I'm pretty. In 2024, let's bring back just complimenting people. Let's bring back you're pretty. Just you're pretty. This is the story of how I got suspended from high school for making a viral video. The principal from my school still watches my videos, so hope you're enjoying the show. Okay, so let me set the scene. I'm 18. I'm a senior in high school, and my daddy's in prison. <laughs> Yay. I ended up becoming friends with this girl who treated me like total trash. I was blowing up on YouTube at the time, so I was making pretty good money. She used me for money. She would always ask me to buy her things. Obviously, like the dumb people pleaser I am, I did it. Then it got to the point of her asking me to buy her a car. Yes, I was 16 years old when this happened. The suspension didn't happen until I was 18, but I was 16 years old when she asked me to buy her a car. Her and her mom started like literally borderline harassing me, saying that's why your daddy's in jail. Like all of this coming from a grown like woman, just like terrorizing me. There's so much more to that story, but let's just say it was just like really messed up. So anyway, I'm depressed. My dad's in jail. My ex-friend and her mom are now like literally bullying me. The only place I felt like I could turn to was YouTube because that's what I did and that's how I made my money. And I literally started YouTube as a way to distract myself from my dad going to jail so i made a little story time about everything i did not say her name did not mention or insinuate who she was in the slightest I didn't even badmouth her i was just basically saying everything that happened to me and trying to comfort people who have been also screwed over by a friend in like a hard situation or whatever that video ended up doing like over 500 000 views like it went completely viral my subscribers were literally growing like crazy like that's when my youtube channel was like blowing up so obviously they saw it and they had a few choice words for me her mom i remember literally sent me a picture of like a side by side of me next to her daughter with my face like crossed out with like a black marker they were on some weird shit I didn't care about the harassment though or like the comments or anything like that because I was just so happy that my YouTube was blowing up. Like that was my dream. I literally told my dad when he left for prison, when you get out of jail, I will have over 100,000 subscribers. And I did. But yeah, like I said, no one knew who she was. She wasn't getting attacked. Everybody was just like, damn, that's fucked up. Like who does that to a person? Especially like after I was a good friend of her for so long. But she decides to make like a three part series responding to everything I said with just like straight lies. Like every Everyone could see through her lies too, but the point is she decided to expose her identity. I didn't say anything about who she was or give any clues or ideas or anything. Obviously, the ratio on that video was like 5,000 dislikes and like 10 likes or something. It wasn't panning out the way she thought it would because everybody could tell that she was like lying. Like her mom was literally coming in the room, like in the videos. When she asked me to buy her a car, she sent it in like a text. The text was, can I borrow $3,000? Since the video was getting so hype, I literally printed out that text onto a t-shirt and started selling it as merch i sold like 300 shirts and during all of this her and her mother were still like completely harassing me <laughs> anyway so i missed a day of school to go to a supreme drop in new york city with my friend while i am there i get a text that's like girl you just got called to the office and you're like not here obviously my heart sinks and i'm like girl what <laughs> So growing up with super strict parents, if I got suspended, I knew it would be like a living hell for me. So obviously I'm in New York City, like pooping my fucking pants at home and go to school the next day. And I get called down to the office as you would expect. They sit me down in the chair. The freaking principal starts off and she's like, I got a call from a very concerned student at another school about this situation and how big it's getting. And I knew that was like bullshit. Like no one called. She went into the office and like said, something apparently people were wearing my merch to school and it was causing like a disruption in the learning environment or some bullshit like that but she also said something about the girl's mom trying to paint it out as if i'm the only one that did anything wrong in the situation and like i'm like attacking or harassing her or something and even the school agreed with me in the sense that like no this is very much a double-edged sword like we don't think that you're bullying her or anything like that obviously i was like thrown because i didn't even say her freaking name she like exposed herself so i'm like how is this my fault because i know for a fact if my video didn't go viral, I wouldn't be sitting in that damn chair right now. It was like, well, she's getting suspended too, but both of you are causing like a disruption in the learning environment as if they teach anything in that school anyway. It was so funny because while all this was happening, the school like police officer that was in there was like, so how much money do you make doing that? Like he was like hella... <laughs> interested i just thought it was kind of screwed up that they can like tell me what to post especially because i had nothing to do with school i didn't say any names it was literally just about my personal life and like they have the power to do that that that's crazy if they would have asked me to take
take my merch down or take my video down, I wouldn't have done it. I was low-key kind of happy. I was like, okay, period, a little vacation. I didn't care about being suspended like at all. It was my senior year. I knew I wasn't going to college. I was about to graduate. She was like, just wait till after you graduate to post anything. And there's so much more to the story with like the school and how they treated me while I was like blowing up. Y'all would actually be jaw dropped at some of the stuff that happened to me. This is just a piece of it. But if you want to see how my parents reacted to all of this, go to part two because I'm running out of time. Love you, have knockers. Bye. How I got suspended from high school for posting a viral video, part two. So she calls my parents. Honestly, my dad's like not even mad at me because he knows how bad her and her mother had been harassing me and like all the stuff they put me through for like the past couple months and while he was away he just got out of jail mind you like he was not mad at me at all he was just like don't worry i'll take care of this and i was really surprised like because he was pretty strict before he went my mom however was like throwing a hissy fit and she was like oh my god like you got suspended blah 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 and i was just like whatever girl even my 18 year old self knew that i was allowed to sit there and talk to my audience and make a video about something that had happened to me i wasn't bad mouthing anyone remember the principal literally said like how would you feel if she made a shirt that said something about you and i was like well that's the thing i didn't make a shirt saying she She's so ugly. She's so terrible. I made a shirt of a literal text she sent me asking me for money. I was like, if I had the nerve to ask someone to buy me a car after treating them like total dirt, I'd be fine with them putting it on a shirt personally. And she was like, understood. So I was suspended for three days. There were like teachers just talking shit about me everywhere. I would get texts from my friends in like different classes and be like, dude, this teacher's like talking shit about you again. And like, whatever. I was like, okay, like don't quit your day job. So I was stuck at home for three days and it was a nice little vacation. The only bad part was obviously that I had to like make up work that was annoying when I got back like literally everyone was being so nice to me they were like dude your video was like hilarious like the whole situation's like so funny people I didn't even talk to were coming up to me like telling me how cool it is that my like YouTube's going viral I kept my mouth shut for literally the rest of my senior year and then when school ended I dropped a video just saying like everything that they did to me because i'm sorry but literally taking away someone's freedom of speech not even in school is crazy to me i still can't get behind that like i still can't believe they were able to like do that that's insane literally like the suspension email to my parents and like the letter are my favorite thing in the world i still have it somewhere and i want to like hang it up on my wall and frame it because it's just so funny like are you kidding me and i'd be straight up fucking lying if i said i think what i did was wrong or that i regretted or shouldn't have done it because it kickstarted my channel and i Still don't think I did anything wrong. I'm fully allowed to make videos about my life and things that happen to me as long as I'm not bad mouthing or outing people. I'm just glad my dad had that fresh jail chill out because if he didn't, I would have been in so much trouble. She ended up dropping out of school and still posting like so many videos about me and like TikToks and all that, even though she like literally did me so dirty after I was such a good friend to her. Her mom ended up leaking my phone number and like harassing me and like all this other stuff. Now she's like back with her ex-boyfriend friend and they like serial cheat on each other or whatever i don't know it's cute i guess but like seriously if you don't want the world to know how terrible of a person you are then why don't you just like not do terrible things you know what i mean i literally got a text like a year ago that my account was on my principal's laptop screen and i haven't gone to that school in like five years <laughs> Moral of the story, don't let anyone stop you from doing what you love because I easily could have gotten into that situation and just stopped uploading. I've been like, screw this, it's not even worth it, but I kept going anyway. No one should make you feel like that for telling your story. It's still one of the funniest things that's ever happened to me though. Oh my God, I literally forgot to include that at my little re-entry meeting with my father, the principal was like literally trying to get me in trouble. Like she was like, you seem a little irritated. Like what's going on? Like no shit, I'm freaking pissed off because I got suspended for posting a video about my life. Like. What? I had my mouth shut and my dad was like, just let her do that, like whatever. Just make it through school. But literally fuck you for that. Like actually fuck you. I love you Hobnockers and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, get ready with me. I'm so glad it's finally Friday and I'm leaving for a three or four day trip this weekend since it's a long weekend for MLK Day. I'm going to a place called Mud Canyon with a bunch of my friends and my boyfriend. So it's technically the first sleepover me and my boyfriend get, even though it's like in a trailer and we're in different beds and we've been together for a year. But hey, I'm gonna take what I can get. So I have a really fun month plan because I'm also in two weeks from now going snowboarding with my dad and my boyfriend. Um, Cause normally just me and my dad were the only people in my family who like to snowboard. But now we have an extra member to add. And hey, kind of a sleepover. Not really. He's on like a pullout couch thing in a hotel room. But you know what? We're building our way there. I'm also finally getting these wild roots redone. They don't look bad besides like the front piece right there. But I need opinions on like 
what I should do because I'm kind of thinking going brighter than I normally do just because like the underside of my hair is so dark and I feel like it makes it look weird but I don't really know so let me guys know what you think I've also been kind of wondering like how immature it would be to like share some of my personal drama on here the only reason I'm like okay with it is because it really doesn't bother me that much but it is like kind of crazy what's happening and like these people don't even live close to me anymore not like like they're like an hour away and i see them maybe once every three months and yet they cannot just ugh. but i'm trying to be the bigger person but i like i don't care enough to like you know but i want to tell people because i want people to agree with me and be like damn like they're weird but we'll see how it all plans out first but this has been happening for like three months now and i kind of talked about it i forgot i talked about it a while ago but then it got somehow worse um by like a lot so mostly what happens there just like to keep y'all on your toes um anyway uh, my elf order came in and i got the jelly pop because they re-released it i think um because i was never that into makeup whenever it dropped the other times so i tried it this time i don't hate it it smells really strong though like a lot like watermelon gum that's like the best way i can describe it i literally have 20 minutes to get out of my house and get fully ready oh my gosh i forgot to tell you guys i got my car finally um i was in a car crash like a month and a half ago and i finally got my car yesterday um until then the past like week or two i've been going to school i've just been taking my mom's car and she's been taking my grandma's car because she's in town um and then before that i just had to have um my boyfriend drive me everywhere but now i have my own car and then next weekend my dad's gonna be able to put like my car play in it and everything but i have my own car bless up and it's so much nicer than my old one so if you guys want a car tour part two because i made one like a year ago exactly um let me know speaking of that i really do need some more video ideas um just since i'm starting to post more consistently on here and i don't want it to get repetitive so let me know what you guys want to see i'm open to new ideas i used to film like a day in my life all the time um back in like my sophomore year and then i like stopped i don't really know why i think it's because i just kept forgetting to film but genuinely i'm up for ideas but i really need to get out of here and stop talking because these videos make my get ready process so much longer because i'll like start the video off doing something and then i'll just end up talking like this so yeah let me get ready and then i'll come back Okay, I genuinely have no clue how I did that on time, but I need to leave right now. Here's the fit. Kind of cute, kind of not. Yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me for my first day back in chill. Um, I'm actually scared. I'm not sure what to do. I'm actually scared because it's 717, and I've only got my eyes done and none of my base. Um, also, one of my New Year's, New Year's resolution was to stop this shit. I told myself I wasn't going to be late this year. And if I fail the first day, that's just fucking discouraging. And I'm not going to want to carry on. Um, so I'm going to fucking try to rush through this. I literally woke up on time too. Um, and I did my hair and shit. But then, I don't know, I just started doing my eyes. And my eyeliner took me like a minute. And then, next thing I know, it went from 7 to 7.20. And I'm like, what the freak? Oh my god, there was a hair on me and I just got it on my freaking beauty blender. It's actually Friday today and everybody else started yesterday. But I was at the airport and shit coming back from PR. So I got to skip a day, but still, I do not want to be here. Thank god it's a Friday, so I only have to go one day. And then I can have a little two-day breather. And then actually get back into routine, but I don't know, this shit is not it. My school also has a new principal and I actually want to die. Like, quite literally want to die because of it. I thought my last principal was bad. This man doesn't want us using our phones at all during school. And then they already had that rule. And then it was like lightning down. Like, no one was really listening to it. And then now he came, switched everything. He's like, no phones, not even in the hallways. Like, what do you, what do you want about it? I think that I can actually get my base done maybe in five minutes if I freaking hurry the hell up. 
I'm not gonna do too much today because I just don't freaking have the time to do it. But yeah. Tell me why yesterday at work my stomach started hurting like hell and I went to the bathroom. Tell me why I threw up three times. Like I was actually dying yesterday and I was like, oh, looks like I'm not gonna be able to go to school now. But then I came home and like got some medicine and shit and like I feel better now. But I quite literally was dying yesterday. Like I was like this is when my life ends. Like, I felt like I was, like, done. Okay, 724, and I'm baking. I honestly wanted to be done with this. I wanted I wanted to be done by 725, maybe by 730. Okay, 27, I already finished baking and stuff. I'm just going to do a little bit of powdered blush, and then highlighter, lips, and setting spray. I might do the lips in the car, though. Okay, since the new semester, um, you basically get like maybe one or two classes changed because in my school, it's not like semester long classes, it's year long classes um, for your core classes. So you really only get like one or two classes changed whenever the, um, whenever the new semester comes. But one of mine is my first period and my ex's new girlfriend is in that class with me. And I'm praying to God that she's not in the class that I got switched to, like, the new course, I'm, like, praying to God she, like, got switched or something, because, like, fuck that. Okay, guys, 7.30 exact, and I'm done. Okay, thank God, I'm just gonna go get my lunch and stuff, but anyway, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys. My best friend left to go back to Europe yesterday, so that was really sad. But get ready with me for the day. I am literally out of this Fenty skin toner. It is literally to the bottom. I just, I can't believe that my best friend is like on the other side of the world right now. I miss her so much. It's actually crazy. Okay, anyways, I'm really not sure what we're doing today, but I do know I have volleyball later. So I really hope I come back um, home in time to take my makeup off because I hate, hate, hate playing volleyball with makeup on. I literally just cannot stand it. It makes me feel so icky. And then I feel like it just breaks me out if I play with makeup on. Y'all, it is actually so cold for Texas today. And I'm pretty sure tomorrow it's going to be like freezing. So I really hope that school gets canceled tomorrow. So I'm really hoping. Well, life has literally been so crazy lately. And I honestly just like, it's too much. Okay, while I let that primer sit, I'm just going to go do my brows really quick. Honestly, just got this glue, like, not too long ago, but I'm literally obsessed with it. It actually keeps my brows in place all day. Last night, I literally fell asleep at 2 a.m. on my couch because I was watching Grey's Anatomy with my mom until that time, and then we both just fell asleep. I was literally so tired yesterday, so I'm kind of glad I slept on the couch because the couch low-key hits when you're, like, super tired. Okay, I have to be out of the house by 11, and it is literally not even 10 yet, so I have way more than enough time. Okay, I don't know why my concealer looks so, like, weird um, on the camera, but in person it's not like that, so I'm not going to do any bronzer. Well, I'm literally running out of all my favorite products. Like, my setting spray is literally done. Okay, I'm going to go try to use what's left of this. Okay, anyways, I'll be back when my lashes are done because I really, really need a good lash day today. Okay, where was I? Oh, yeah, um, I just did my lashes, and I'm going to clean them up later, so let's go finish my makeup. Okay, I'm just doing Fenty on my corners. Okay, and I just put some Charlotte Tilbury on the tip of my nose just a little bit because it is hella shiny. So now I'm just going to go set because this face is greasy. Okay, anyways, that's it. Bye, guys. Get ready with me. I went snowboarding last weekend and I literally ate shit so many times. Like, I want to be good so bad, but I'm literally just not. And also, like, all of my friends ski. I don't understand why, like, nobody snowboards. Like, I probably have so many bruises on my butt from, like, falling, but snowboarding is still so much better. I hope I can go this weekend because it's apparently supposed to snow, and obviously, if it's snowing, it's going to be better. Because last time I went, it was snowing, but then it was, like, snowing too much that, like, a tree fell down and, like, fell on a power line, and then the power went out. And it was, like, so random because I don't think anyone actually saw the tree or, like, the power line that was down. Because when we got to the top of the mountain, they were like, this is your last time, like, you have to go at home after this. We were like, what? And, like, none of us can drive, so we had to wait for, like, my friend's parents to come get us. And they were literally 40 minutes away, so we had to sit in lodge for 40 minutes. And the thing is, if I go this weekend, like, a bunch of my, like, school friends are probably going to be there. And that's just, like, embarrassing if they see me go, because I literally suck. 
Like, I'm gonna be literally tumbling down the mountain as they're gonna be, like, passing me. You're gonna see me, and that's, like, embarrassing. Okay, like, I'm not that bad, or I like to think that, because I do fall quite often, but I feel like all snowboarders fall pretty often. I feel like these highlighters are just so aesthetic, and I just love them so much, I won't put them all over my face. But don't worry, I won't put it all over my face, because then I'll look really weird, and I obviously don't want to look weird. Um, my school's having a basketball game tomorrow against, like, our rival school, but basketball is just so boring, I probably won't even go. I swear this freaking setting spray runs out so fast. Like, I swear I just bought a new freaking bottle, and it's, like, already out. But it's okay, I'm gonna still use it, because it's not Anyways, who wants to go snowboarding with me because I have, like, four friends and half of them don't know how to ski or snowboard. I'm going to a team bonding. That's why I'm wearing these pajamas because we're all wearing matching pajamas, which is so cute. Bye, guys. Get ready with me to go ice skating and trying my new toner. So this is the Anoa 77% Heart Leaf Toner. I already did an unboxing, so let me know if you guys... Want to see the unboxing video? Uh, should I post that before I post this one? But yeah, people say it feels like water, and it actually does. I feel like I just sprayed my face with water and this for a week and see how my skin like does with it. And don't worry, I did not throw away my grow, res grow recipe. I didn't throw away my glow recipe toner. It's just that since I got this new one, I really want to try it out first. So we're going ice skating again, same place as before, which was Muslame in Stavanga. And well, it was snowing a lot yesterday. I don't know if you guys saw it on my Instagram stories, but it was snowing a lot. Feels like Christmas again. I'm also going to be taking my digital camera with me and take pictures and videos and everything instead of using my phone because I feel like the quality is just looks better with a camera and it feels like, you know, the early 2000s we didn't have smartphones like iPhones and things like that I just need to decorate it with stickers or something and add a charm to it someone suggested well 99% of people suggested Sheen and someone said use the stickers that you bought for your nails I'm like oh my god that's a good idea because that's the only thing I can work with now. you guys don't think they sell stickers at Norma because I was thinking about going to Norma maybe find some stickers or something ah! and I don't have charms but I have keychains but I don't want to add a keychain to my camera because it's just gonna hit the camera all the time, you know? I don't know why, but I had horrible nightmares last night and not just one or two, but it was like one was done and then another would start and I remember all of them, which is crazy because I don't usually remember all of my dreams. And it looks like I'm the queen. Be the good girl, you always have to be. No. H. My cats are fighting. That's me in Spain when people ask me, "How can you live in Norway with that weather?" And I'm like, "The cold never bothered me anyway." That was really good timing. Okay, makeup is ready. Time to go skating. Ciao.